The crags that we grow up in, they always hold a special place in our heart. Driving up Little Cottonwood, you look on either side of the valley and you see beautiful blank granite walls. Beneath them, dense pine forest. And being out in the middle of that, it really gives you these moments of peace in nature, which is very appreciated, you know, living in the city. My first time out in Little Cottonwood, my coach just brought me out to watch him and some buddies session. I couldn't believe what they were holding on to. It was like mind blowing. Little Cottonwood granite is kind of like a variation. I guess it's technically quartz monzonite, which gives these much bigger crystals. You end up climbing these features that have specific spots for each one of your fingers. So it becomes a lot more about precision and readjustment and really finding the right body position for every hold. It just makes you think more. It makes you pay more attention to the details. It offers a different challenge that I really appreciate. Little Cottonwood has been home to new projects that push me, as well as just a place for escape. You can let down any sort of like show, you know? You're just out here for yourself. You're just out here to enjoy climbing for the right reasons. When I was 18, my coach encouraged me to come out to Little Cottonwood and do these like circuits, where I would do 10 or so boulders anywhere from V6 to V10 or harder. So I ended up having to problem solve on these really intricate and vague sequences. And I think that that really helped me in my competition climbing. Here is Nathaniel Coleman. Nathaniel Coleman. One of the Olympic qualified athletes. 24 years old, silver medal at the Olympics. Such a dominant competitor. He's done all right. <laughs> yeah. This is not the guy you want to have chasing you. I don't know if there's a competitor who is more present. Other climbers are looking up to this dude right now. When you're out there on-site format, you have four or five minutes to figure out a boulder. It took me back to Little Cottonwood and finding all the nuances. A top for Nathaniel Coleman. And with that, he secures his position in first place. USA Climbing recently moved their headquarters to Salt Lake City, and it's been a pretty noticeable change. It is elevating U.S. competition climbing like nothing has ever before. The culture's been here a really long time. Our sport was built on the ideals uh, and ethos of, of the outdoor environment. For the past decade, the Sully Climbers Alliance has really been focused here in Lower Little Conway Canyon. We've invested over half a million dollars from grant monies, public and private. We've put in hundreds of hours of sweat equity into building trails, replacing anchors, all because we wanted to put in sustainable infrastructure to limit our impacts on this beautiful landscape. The best climbers in the world have come here for Little Cottonwood Canyon specifically. The athletes treasure the natural environment that Salt Lake City has. I can't imagine having our organization based anywhere where that wasn't accessible. 
the beauty of what exists here is right up against a city of a million plus people. There's so many people living in such a dense area here along the Wasatch Front with such access to those climbing areas. We take that belief that we need to protect those areas and maintain those areas and all do our part. So I think that's a, a great part of the culture that in my opinion just strengthens that community even more. This area of this canyon, it, it's the glue in the climbing community. It's where people come after work to go bouldering. It's where people come year round to go climbing because it's in the sun. The beauty and the type of rock, the friction, the granite, it's gorgeous and it hooks you and you become really passionate about it and you, you want to come back. All of that is under threat right now by these large landscape changes that UDOT has proposed, which are either the world's longest gondola or additional lanes put through the entire canyon for a bus-only shoulder lane. Little Cottonwood is loved by so many people, so it's not just your ski resort user, it's your climber, it's your hiker, it's your nature lover, even somebody just wanting to go for a drive. And people are moving here because of that access to this beautiful canyon and the canyons surrounding it. These large landscape changes will both be huge impacts to this canyon and to this landscape, and once they're made, you can't go back. UDOT looked at these proposals from a very limited scope of only 30 days of the year when traffic's the worst in the winter time. They don't consider the rest of the year or the rest of the users in the canyon and their transit needs. We know there's a traffic problem in the winter. We want to be at the table to find solutions. We also want to be considered in the proposals. So here we are today looking at that issue and how to best accommodate for multiple users year round. The majority of world-class climbing that's in Little Cottonwood exists in the lower section, the lower third of the canyon, which is a really tight canyon. These walls are pretty close, and both proposals will be on the north side of the road, which is the side that the climbing resource is mostly on here, especially the roadside boulders. You're going to be pressing right into the bouldering resource that exists here. Hundreds of problems will be affected. Either they would be removed, or the landscape around them would be altered, as well as the overall climbing experience. My favorite climb in Little Cottonwood is Wrist Rocket. It was FA'd by Drew Bedford and it goes to about B9. It starts on big holds, big moves out of steep roof. You get to a pretty good jug at the lip. You then have to do this almost crux transition move to get your body weight standing on the slab. But it's not over. You're just standing on these little smears, working up this arete. And you gotta do three or four moves to get to the lip.
How's it feel? Feels good. Nice work. I was lucky to grow up in this canyon when I did. I learned so much from the canyon, and I think that other people can learn a lot about who they are and what climbing means to them in the same way. Any development that happens now isn't going to change my past. But it seems unfair to take that away from the next generation. I want the kids that are growing up now, and even adults that are new to climbing, to have the same chance to experience what I experienced. Like if we don't advocate for what we love, what's in our own backyard, what brought us to this area, the nature that we are all connecting to, it's gonna be gone. Let's rally together for the climbing community, for the climbing resource, and use it as a model for other areas to protect these places we love to climb.